there are lots of young consumers who are, um, every year, um, there is an uptake in the percentage of the uh, young people's population that is purchasing goods online. And a, a lot of these companies are um, trying to aim at these this uh, social group through um, WeChat, through other types of social media, um, and allowing them to interact uh, with the products, such as posting uh, pictures and photos and being able to make comments, share with their friends. Um, so it's increasingly important that uh, products become more than just products. And um, so there are like online streaming, um, and there's an increased use of uh, social media. There's more um, online to offline engagement as well. Um, and so sort of a lot of crossover of e-commerce with the rest of people's lives. So retailers, one would think, would want to focus on China if they want a piece of this e-commerce market. Just how important is it? It's incredibly important. Um, at this moment, um, more people in China shop online for goods, um, a wide variety of products from clothing to uh, makeup to food and uh, even services. So more people shop online than offline. And um, there's also an increase in purchases uh, by Chinese consumers of overseas products, um, mainly from the U.S., as well as from Japan and Korea. Um, so shoppers are willing to open up their wallets uh, to purchase these goods online. The entire mentality of a consumer in China seems so different from the United States. Whenever I'm there, everybody's pulling out their phones. Everything, it seems, is online. So what does that spell for bricks and mortar? Although there are a lot of bricks and mortar stores uh, when I go to Beijing and people are shopping there too. But, it, but is, is this kind of the, is that an area of concern if you're in a business that perhaps bricks and mortar are on the way out? Um, yeah, you know, it has been a concern, and this is why a lot of uh, bricks and mortar shops, including um, anything from like luxury to um, grocery stores, have been interested in also having an e commerce angle and even in blending the two. Um, so, for example, um, during this current uh, shopping festival, um, there have uh, been some apps introduced that would allow consumers to um, try on clothes, uh, look at other products, and also be able through their phones, an app on their phones, to look at extra information um, through their phones. So it's combining the online with the offline. Um, there's also the uh, integration through discounts, so online to offline discounts and offline to online discounts. Um, and so the bricks and mortar shops have uh, been able to survive because they have integrated with um, online retail. How have the sales been so far? Have, have we been able to get an indicator of just how things are going? They've been quite good. Um, this year, the sales um, for this festival have been even greater than last year. Uh, it seems like every year they're um, increasing um, in terms of their revenue. Um, in the first uh, few minutes, um, a lot of major um, retailers like uh, Nike and Adidas and Apple were able to sell more than in the first hour of um, sales promotions last year. So it just took you know maybe 15 to 20 minutes for them to um, sell the same volume as they did in one hour last year. Let me ask one final question. The trade war that's going on, does this uh, make Chinese consumers less likely to perhaps look at uh, products coming from the United States because of what's going on, do you think? Uh, perhaps to some extent. Um, the tariffs definitely um, add cost uh, for the categories of goods that do incur those additional fees. Um, and, you know, consumers these days have a lot of options um, in terms of what they can purchase. Uh, there's not only domestic Chinese brands that have improved in their quality, uh, but there's, there's also other foreign competitors um, and other types of brands that are just as good. So um, it depends on the category of the product um, in terms of whether the fee is imposed on the good. Uh, but if those tariffs are there, then consumers are likely to look elsewhere.